Brother, we're not the Christian church. We're not out here to get numbers. We are here to save souls. It's not about numbers. It's about real men of God. I'm going to show you what the Most High told us to do on the Sabbath. Give me Luke 14 and 20. What you're doing right now is what the Most High commands each and every black, Hispanic, and Native American man to do. We are out here raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Which are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Read that. No, we're the propitiation of our sin. And he is. Jesus Christ is the propitiation of our sin. That's right. Bring it up. So that's that's the kind of nonsense we're talking about. Of God. The what? Oracles of God. This Bible was only given to the children of Israel. That's right. It was not given to any African. It was not given to any Egyptian. Give me Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Because according to the Bible, we are at the bottom of society because we do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commands. That's right. And it's high time that we wake up out of sleep. Neither keep they the king's law. And they don't even keep the king's law. Because guess what? Just because the so-called white man says Sunday is the Sabbath, we say no, that's not true. The Sabbath is on Saturday and we're going to keep it on Saturday. That's All right. right. And we're going to write up a written document saying I'm not working on the Sabbath. Because we're different from everybody else. We're not going to do what everybody else do. We're not going to sing and dance like the white man has told us to do over 400 years. Huh? in this country called the United States of America. All right? You have to understand something. These nations know something that you do not know. That's right. Give me Jeremiah 50 and 3. All right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. All right? Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 3. 33. 33. Thus saith the Lord of hope, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed we're oppressed together. And that's what's happening to us right now. The southern kingdom of Israel, which is the so-called blessed, all right? And, and Israel, all right, which is the so-called Native Americans and the Hispanics are oppressed together. Read that again. Thus saith the Lord of hope, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. We're oppressed together. All right, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28.1. Why are our people getting oppressed? Why were we oppressed the four times? All right, we have to go to this Bible to figure out these things. Why is our people always on the Bible? All right? If anybody have any questions, just come up and ask. We're going to answer in this Bible. All right? Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all the commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. So, if our people follow God's commandments, the Lord thy God will bless you. All right? Now, I know that uh, my people say, hey, y'all reading out the Old Testament? Yes, we are reading out the Old Testament. So they say, that's done away with. Give me uh, Exodus 20, start at verse 3. We're going to read down to verse 5. A lot of people say, y'all reading out the Old Testament. No, 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 no. We ain't trying to hear that. Read this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven or above. All right, so that's the Ten Commandments. All right, everybody's familiar with that. All right, read on. <coughs> All that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. But I, am the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the Father upon the children. Unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Until which generation? Third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So he wasn't just only talking to the Israelites back then. He was talking to the Israelites then, all the way up to today. That's right. All right? We are supposed to keep God's commandments in 2015. That's right. All right? And the reason why we're getting oppressed is because we don't. All right? This is not my... Uh, coincidence. Alright, this is thus saith the Lord. Right. Alright, uh, give me 15. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. I'm sorry, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, 
and that would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Just like we're supposed to keep the commandments all up until today, if we did keep God's commandments, we'd be cursed all the way up until today. That's right. All right? Y'all have to understand that. All right? Our women are out of order. Our men are out of order. All right? Give me uh, first, uh, Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, to show how a woman's supposed to conduct herself. All right? Because our women are, are really out of order in 2015. All right? We don't, they don't know how to wear clothes. They got the worst mouth on them as if they were men themselves. But let's see how God said they're supposed to behave themselves. Give me that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that the women adore themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel. Okay. Read that one more time. In like manner also that the women adore themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel. That's something our women don't know how to do. That's right. All right? They wear spandex as if it's real clothes. Right. That's undergarments. Right. Read on. With shade faced in it. With what? Shade faced in it. No, not a loud mouth. What did it say? With shade faced in it. Shade faced in it. Have some, have some appreciation. Have some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Be humble, all right? Shade faced, meek, all right, quiet. Read that again. And like better also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shade faced in them, and sobriety, not with parted hair or gold or pearl. So it's not about what you look like, all right? Uh, for example, a man's supposed to be attracted to a sister simply because, dang, that's, that's, a, that's a righteous sister right there. She got on a dress, she got her hair covered. She not showing all her body. That's somebody I can take home. That's somebody that's going to follow the scriptures. She understands what the Bible's saying. Read on. But with that which becometh woman, professing godliness with good works. With good works. All right, read on. Let the woman learn in silence. The Bible just said black woman, in spite of woman. Read it again. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. Silence. Read. With all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, our women are out of order. Give me Isaiah 3 and 12. Our women are out of order. It's time to come back to your true nationality and humble down to this Bible. All right? And this is what he saw. The white man wants this to happen. They come to divide our families, and they've done a great job at it. That's right. Read that. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. As for my people, so-called blacks and Hispanics, children are our oppressors. They're the ones in the hood, terrorizing the neighborhood by their gang, by selling dope. Read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Hold that, give me uh, 51 and 20. Isaiah 51 verse 20. Children are our oppressors. All right, we're going to go a little deeper into that to give an example. All right, read that. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. Our sons, our black and Hispanic sons have fainted. Read on. They lie at the head of all the streets. At the head of every street. When you go to the south side, um, don't let it be dark. Don't turn it to the hood. You're going to see who? You're going to see our young black males selling dope to each other. Right. Guns in their waist. Right. Ready to fight. Read it again. Thy sons have faith. Uh -huh. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in a net. All right, imagine a wild bull being trapped in a net. He's going to be going crazy, out of control. You can't, you can't, you can't do nothing to restrain him. Read on. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of fury because they're at the bottom. They have, they have no life. Right. They're like, why, why am I even created for? My mom is drugged out. I don't even know where my father is. Right. They are angry. Read it, read it. I'm sorry, read it all the way through. Thy sons are faint. They lie at the head of all the street as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. 
I'm sorry. The rebuke of the God. Go back to Isaiah 3 and 12. All right? You have to understand. How did these young men get like this? We're going to finish this scripture. Read on. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. And women rule over them. Women rule over them. Single parent houses. Why? Because the woman says, I don't need a man. Niggas ain't shh. Y'all have heard of this stuff. Right. But that's what's going on today. Just the opposite. That's Bible prophecy. That's right. right. All right? Give me our first Corinthians 11. Give me the order. How it's supposed to be set up. This world is out of order. All right? And if y'all is content with this, y'all wicked as hell. All right? Give me that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. Now I praise you, brother. That you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them unto you. Keep the ordinances. Keep the commandments. This is the commandment. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is who? The head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. That's what you have to understand. That's why our role for our people is flipped upside down. Brother, brother, let me ask you a question, bro. I see you was listening over there, right? What's your nationality according to the Bible? You what? No. Look at this sign right here, bro. See where you at on this. What's, what's, your, uh, what's your father's nationality? What is, is he a so-called black man? Yeah. All right, so according to that, See that? It says Judah, American blacks. See that? Yeah. Let me show you something. Isaiah 3 and 1. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1 and 3, excuse me. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The earth knows his own, and the ass is now created. So, bro, I'm going to talk to you. Right? I'm going to read the scripture, and I'm going to give you the six. You got to go? All right. That's your bus? I love your message, and it sounds too. That's your book? That's your bus? All right. Check out the website, brother. Visit that. All right? Go ahead and finish that out for me. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The earth know of his own, and the ass is man's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. It says, Israel does not know. My people do not consider. I asked my brother, what's his nationality? According to the Bible, he says he does not know. All right? He says he has no idea. That's, that's who it's talking about. We are the lost sheep. My people, I'm looking at y'all right now. I'm looking at you. Y'all Y'all are the sons and daughters of God. Right. All right? All right, man, what, what we left off before I dealt with the brother? Is that 1 Corinthians 11. All right? This is how we're going to get our families back in order. Thus saith the Lord. All right? This is the medicine right here. Give me that. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. The black woman does not want to hear that. But it's thus saith the Lord. So what does that mean? If you don't want to hear that, you hate God. That's right. All right? You hate God. Give me um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. All right? Because you have to understand. God, this is it. This is, this is how we're supposed to govern ourselves. This is how we're supposed to learn. But right now, before that, Job 9 and 24, uh, Ecclesiastes. You have to understand, because of our sins, God allowed our enemies to rule over us. So now, they make laws telling us how things should be. All right? That a woman no longer has to... This, this our government, this society goes against the Bible. That's right. You have to understand that. Hey, get that brother fire. The bus is fire. Give me fire. All right, hurry up for you. Give me that. Tom, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because of our sins, God allowed this world to be given to who? Into the hand of wicked. Into the hand of the wicked. Now the wicked are ruling over the Israelites. These so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now Ecclesiastes 7 29. Give me that. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 29. Lo, this holy have I found. That God has made men upright. So God made us upright, which means upright in his laws. Be 
ain't no beauty to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's the uprightness of speaking of. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. They have sought out many inventions which say it's okay for a woman to wear pants. Right. It's okay for a woman to be single and raise a child. A woman cannot raise a man. Right. It is impossible. That's right. That man is going to be either effeminate or he's going to hate his own people. Right. He's not going to be right according to the Bible. All right? You have to understand that. Give me um, uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. You have to understand that. And this society is out of order. All right? It's not in design of what the Most High God set it up to be. All right? Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. How long would thou go about on thy backsliding daughter? For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. It's a new thing in the earth, right? Because we know how this earth is supposed to be, right? It said a new thing in the earth. Read on. A woman shall compass a man. A what? A woman shall compass a man. A woman shall compass a man. That's not how it's supposed to be. That's why God said it's a new thing in the earth. Right. Which means it's against God. That's, That's right. right. You have to understand that. You have to understand that. You have to understand that. It's time to wake up. It's time to come back to your true nationality. Black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We are different from everybody else. So we cannot partake in the customs of this world. It says, come, come out of her, my people. It says, be ye separate. If you keep their holidays, if you dress like them, what is the difference? All right, give me that. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's troops and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. With strange apparel. That's a new thing. The most I never said it was okay for a woman to wear pants. Give me that, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The most I never said it was okay for a man to wear a dress. But y'all don't care. Y'all want to remain in sin. And if you do, you will die in your sins. That's Thus right. saith the Lord. You don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. We are not here to condemn any of you. Well, this is a warning. Give me uh, Ezekiel 2 and 7. These are not all words. It doesn't matter who's saying it. These are not all words. This was written a four time. This was written a four time. Give me that. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 7. And thou shalt speak my word. Whose words? My word. We speak God's word. That's right. This is not our physics. Read it again. And thou shalt speak my word unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So if you don't want to hear that what you're doing is wrong, it doesn't matter because the word's still going to go out. Right. In the words of Christ, give me um. Is it uh? Luke, yeah, Luke 13 and 3. These are, this is the words of Christ right here. Listen up, because nobody wants to hear the whole, right? No. Read me something out of the New Testament. This is the words of Christ, the Messiah. Read that. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you nay, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You will die. If you do not repent, you must repent and come back to God's law. In order to do so, you need to know what sin is, right? Give me that. Give me what sin is so we can teach these people how to repent. How do you repent? Sis, do you know what sin is? Sis, come here. What is, what is sin? Can I, I can't hear you. What is sin? You don't want to answer? I'm going to read it out of the Bible for you. This is what sin is according to the Bible. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. And whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So it says, if you transgress God's laws, you are sinning. Would you agree? She nods her head. Read it all the way through. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So you see that? That's very simple, right? Very simple, right? So it says, for sin is the transgression.
God's laws. We're going to read the law, right? Now let me see. I'm going to ask you a question right after we read this scripture. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So sis, are you in sin right now? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sis, what pertains to a man? You covering your eyes now, you ashamed? What pertains to a man, sis? What article of clothing? Pants. Pants. Sis, it, that don't matter. It don't matter what who sees you carnally. Because you know who sees it? Sees you even when you're behind closed doors, sis. Take a wild guess. Read that. The Rock, chapter 23 and verse 19. Such a man only fears the eyes of men. So sis, don't worry about no camera. Don't worry about us looking at you. Read. And know it not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So, you do it in a pretty safe. That's fine. But if you don't go do it behind closed doors, it still don't matter. God can see you both ways, sis. That's right. So you must repent. Give me Philippians 2 and 12. You must repent, sis. As uh, simple as that. It's as simple as that. The camera ain't on you, sis. Give me that. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. So not just in God's presence only. No, I'm sorry. Not just in the middle of God's presence only, read. But now much more in my absence. In the absence, because you must keep God's commandments regardless, regardless of the situation, sis. All right, you understand that? All right, you understand that. Go back to Deuteronomy real quick. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But all that do are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, if any of you are guilty of that, it's time to repent. It's high time to come out of that sleep. It's time to get back to your nationality, according to the Bible, and keep God's commandments. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.